section, we're going to talk about concentrations of solutions and, in particular, uh, molarity. Uh, molarity is basically just the moles of your solute divided by the um, liters of your solution. We're going to see molarity now. We'll talk about it again when we get to Chem 2. And then we'll look at other concentration units in Chem 2 as well. So we're going to start with molarity, moles over liters. I like to think of this as the density of the mole world. Like density was uh, mass over volume. This is like moles over volume. But in particular, that volume is going to be in liters. So moles of your solute per liters of your solution. So this says um, two solutions can have the same, uh, can contain the same compound, but uh, be mixed in like different proportions. So you can have a different different volume of, of water in there or something. Um, to make a solution, the way you're going to do that is you're going to weigh out a certain mass. You're going to put that in usually like a volumetric flask, fill it up to the line with water, uh, dilute it, and you know, that's, that's an aqueous solution. Um, so if you know the moles and you know the liters, you can figure out the molarity. Or if you know the grams of your um, of your of your compound, then you can, if you know grams, you can get to moles using molar mass, and then moles over liters gives you molarity. Um, so if you know any any two of these three things, you can find the other one. It's just it's just math. Okay, so let's do a little calculation. Uh, determine the molarity of a hundred mL sample containing five moles of phosphoric acid. Okay, so molarity is moles over liters, right? Moles of your solute over liters of solution. Liters, liters, liters. They give me milliliters. So the first thing I want to do is get that into liters. So I'm going to take my 100, there we go, milliliters, uh, 1,000 milliliters in one liter. If you can do that in your head, awesome. So you end up with 0 0.10000 liters. And then molarity is just the moles, the 5.0 moles over 0 0.1000 liters. Uh, it gives me, what, 50 molar. That's ridiculous. Um, that's really, really concentrated. <laughs> so this is kind of a bad example, but you, you get the idea. Moles over liters, boom, there you go. And you can put that in scientific notation uh, if you want to. Um, so more, more often than not, you're going to start with, um, you're going to try to figure out, let's see, how many milliliters of a 0.5 molar solution are needed to provide uh, 0.038 moles. So what I was going to say in the other one, usually you're given grams, you can take grams, convert those to moles, and then moles over liters to get your molar concentration. But again, if you are given any of those things, if you're given, um, right, molarity is moles over liters, right? So if you're given moles and liters, you can find molarity. If you're given molarity and liters, you can find moles. If you're given grams, you can find moles, and then moles over liters, or any combination of, of those. Um, so it's just really just algebra at that point. Just have to identify all your variables. So how many milliliters of a 0.5 molar solution are needed to provide 0 0.038 uh, moles of this salt? So I have, I'm trying to find milliliters. Um, I know that molarity equals moles over liters. So if I can find liters, if I can find, yeah, liters, I can find milliliters. Um, so if I just rearrange this equation really quickly, quickly, multiply both sides by liters, and then divide by molar, right, I get liters are just moles over molar. They're just moles over molar. Um, great, and I have molar and I have moles, so I can do that. I can take 0 0.038 moles, divide that by the 0 0.5 um, molar, which is just moles over liters, right? And then the moles cancel, so I get moles over moles over liters, which just gives me liters, right? So when I work all that out, what do I get? Point zero seven six liters. And since I want that in milliliters, I'm just gonna say one liter is a thousand milliliters, which just gives me what seventy six milliliters. 76 milliliters. Cool. So we can try another problem. Um, how many grams of the sodium sulfate there are in 15 mils of uh, 0.5 molar? Okay, so again, molarity is moles over liters, and this time they're giving us um, molarity and 
basically liters. We can convert those milliliters to liters. So I can solve this equation for moles. And then once I know moles, I can go from moles to grams using molar mass. So I'm going to take my, um, first I'm gonna convert that 15 mils, 15 milliliters to liters. Just divide by 1,000. 1,000 milliliters is one liter. 0.015 liters. And then I'm gonna take molar concentration times volume. We'll give me the moles. So 0.50 molar times 0.015 liters. That's 0 0.0075 moles. And then if I have moles, I can just find um, the molar mass of this guy. And that's how many grams I have per one mole. That's about 142 grams per mole. So when I just multiply those through, I get like 1.065 uh, grams. My moles are going to cancel. Um, and I'm going to round to just two sig figs. So I got like 3.1 grams. So how many grams of the sodium sulfate are in 15 mils of 0.5 molar um, sodium sulfate solution? I would just, 1.1 uh, grams. So basically if I wanted to make that solution, I would take 1.1 grams and then um, dilute that to, uh, add that to you know 15 mils of water or up to, so the entire solution is 15 mils. All right, I think I already have.